What up, Blue Jays, Woods, and other folks that are watching this? Sean Blue here. Um, I just went on a lunch date, and <laughs> it was fine. It was fun. Yeah, I went on a little date at lunchtime, and um, it was funny because I like, like I should have been alive a hundred years ago. I should have been this age a hundred years ago because a guy in his thirties walking around in the nineteen twenties. Because I don't understand technology really at all. Because I, it took me a while to figure out where this place was to meet this girl. And when I met her, like, um, well, I was actually, believe it or not, I was. She was actually the late one, not me. And, and, um, it was cool because she, she, like, um, well, she paid for the whole meal, which was very nice of her, but also at the same time, like, so when she showed up, like, um, it, like we, we were eating outside and okay, we, and this was very like, um, inconsiderate and disrespectful for like, like people that are eating solo. So by themselves, they were like eating, there was like three people eating by themselves and they were eating at the big tables by themselves. And like, and so like me and her were sitting at like this like little thing where like she'd be sitting right here and I'm sitting like right here. And it's like, and I was like complaining about it. I was not happy. I was thinking like, there's like three solo people like in like in like when you're solo, be considerate. You eat like, you know, by yourself because eating like looking at your little laptop or whatever. And, like, they were, like, eating at the big tables. Then this, like, one fat girl, she got up. I think she, well, she, I'm sure people heard me complaining. She just finally got up and she left. And then, uh, I think she was just waiting for something. But still, that, that's an inconsiderate place to wait. So, me and the girl went over and we sat down there. And I felt a lot more comfortable because she was asking me all these, like, personal questions. Pretty much right on, like, the streets. Where, like, people are walking on the sidewalk because I'm unemployed right now. And she was asking me, like, you know, yeah, I, I don't even want to get into that. And I was, I, I honestly... Like, I was trying to, like, just, I wasn't going to just get up and walk away, but I was trying to figure out, a, like, excuse, like, oh, I need to go check on something on my car and stuff, and just take off, because, yeah, I, I was really uncomfortable, like, the first, like, five minutes of this date, but when I, we were able to get uh, the little, like, private table and, like, the back and stuff, I was a lot more comfortable and stuff like that, and, um, and I was the only one that felt like that, because I saw these other people, these two gay guys, and they did the same thing, they went over to their own, like, little personal table, too, when it was open. So, yeah, I wasn't the only one that was, that felt that way. And so, like, um, so, like, the place was pretty cool. It was, like, a little, like, kind of, like, coffee shop place and stuff like that. And, like I said, she paid, so that was very nice of her. And, and you know, for the most part, it did go well and stuff like that. But, you know, like, <laughs> it was just funny at first. And it was funny at first. So, yeah, because to make a quick story short, that's my, like, little lunch dates. And, and it was like one of those like little trendy coffee places and stuff like that. And like, um, you know, I saw rainbow flags and, 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 and cause like, you know, like, cause like, like people with like their little trendy tattoos and stuff like that, like hipster tattoos and stuff. So it was kind of interesting, something different. And I need to be more adventurous. I am, trust me, I, I've been to a lot of different places. I th and sometimes I throw myself in hyper real situations. That's for damn sure. But, um, but besides that, yeah, it went pretty well and it was something different and interesting. So, um, besides her asking me some personal questions, that was another funny thing. Um, we were both sitting next to each other and she's like, oh, well, how about if you move like, like, um, before we get the private table, how about you move like on like the other side and stuff like that? And I'm like, I don't want to sit there like, because like people are like walking behind the sidewalks and stuff. And I was thinking, like, and I was kind of, like, at first I was complaining a lot, kind of like Larry David, because, like, I don't want to, like, sit where, like, a bunch of people are, like, walking by. And she was actually the one that moved, and she sat on the other side. She didn't have to, but she volunteered that. And, yeah, it was because, like, um, cause like little funny stuff like that. And, but, yeah, you sometimes you just got to throw out yourself out there and do new things. And the sandwich wasn't good, but the coffee was. And and I was, like, nervous at first because, like, um, like it was, like, a different type of place for me. And, like, um... And, like, she asked me, like, what I want to drink. I'm like, uh, black coffee. You know, like, I, I, I just, like, pointed out the thing, like, black coffee. And she's like, what? You really want that? I'm like, okay, brown sugar. And it was actually really good. And it was cool to design the, the man made. The guy that made the coffee was nice. But you had to get your own glasses of water and stuff like that. And when you're done, you have to kind of clean up your dishes. That's why I didn't leave a tip to the waiter. Because what the hell did the waiter do? So, um, anyway, good time. Beautiful day. And one more thing, Blue Chase. Um, you know, just get out there 
and make the life that you want. All right, peace out, everyone, and keep it blue.